Hey everybody, I'm Robert the Zombie Bargain Hunter and today we are going to be doing a very special haul. Uh, I've been holding on to all these giant, large, plush. I've had them like stacked in the corner. Uh, mostly from my Goodwill uh, bin haul, the Nine Gaylords. Um, some other from some other thrift stores that I picked up and I have just haven't got into them. But it is the start of fourth quarter so I have to get all these large plush listed. So might as well do a haul with you. I have two huge stacks of them. So let's get right into them. Most of them are going to be at least two feet or larger. So here we go. Uh, the first one. Oh, I already got my nose. <laughs> first one. Look at this guy. This guy's a monster. <laughs> this is a lion uh, from Melissa and Doug. Look at them. <laughs> All the plush are going to be huge. Like they Look at his paws. I had the camera pushed way back so you guys can... Uh, see some of uh, what it looks like or what they look like I mean I have a lot of plush to get to you see it's Melissa and Doug uh, this guy is probably gonna go for at least 120 maybe 150 um, I'll have to check the comps on him he has a hard head but the rest is soft so um, how I ship these guys you squish the snot out of them his head's the only thing you got to worry about you get it down in here you squish the snot out of them and you put them in a bag. <laughs> That's how you mail these guys. <laughs> That's how you mail these guys. But yeah, his go he'll go for probably at least 120, maybe 150. Yeah, let's stick them in the corner because I'm going to start listing all these guys up. We have a big monster pink bear. He is from, or she is from, I guess it's pink, is she... Uh, Toys R Us, so yeah, this one should do pretty well too. Uh, this is just a bear, probably only going to go for like 50, 60 bucks, but hey, it's still, still a nice little bear. And he'll, she will squish the, into a nice 16 by 16 bag, maybe even, and I'll get the shipping pretty decent. Alright, make sure you ship these guys with pirate ship, because in the bag is the best way to ship these big guys. Ah, uh, we have like a Valentine's. Oh, he's got something on his paw. That's nasty. Uh, what does it say? It says, I love you this much. And it's a big old dog. <laughs> he's got a funny looking face. Uh, a little bit dirty here. You can see right there. Uh, but anyways, in very good condition. It says a love puppy on his butt. And he'll probably go for a good 40, 50 bucks. Again, you just squish him. <laughs> all right what's the next one we got an awesome little horse uh, this is uh, the tag is worn off so can't really tell you what it is but has like a type of design on his back kind of like a race horse or um, I don't know what else you would call this type of horse but anyways uh, maybe it gets I don't know 80 bucks out of this guy We'll see. His legs are kind of like wonky, so I might have to get some of the stuffing and squish it down here, but he's easily to fix. Ah, we have a monster elephant. Not as big as the other ones, but he's hefty. He's really thick. Um, he is from Kelly Toy, so very good brand. Very good animal, so probably 50 bucks for this guy. He's very well made. The other one, the, especially the dog, isn't as well made as this one. This one, you can feel the fur and just how well he is padded. All right, next, big guy. <laughs> uh, big old dog. And make sure when you list the big ones, make sure if they look realistic, make sure you put realistic in the title. That will all always um, pop up on the... Uh, the eBay search much better when you put realistic for them because people will search for realistic animals. Uh, this is Inter American Products, so just a generic brand, nothing special, but still you're gonna get a good 50 for this guy. He is nice and squishy. Make sure you put soft in the title, and he's got cool paws. Get over there! <laughs> I'm gonna have an avalanche <laughs> follow me eventually <laughs> when we get done with all this. Uh, what is this thing? Uh, a horse? Pink horse? Uh, I don't know. If you guys know what this thing is, let me know in the in the 
comments below. It's got pink. I'm guessing it's a horse, because if it was a giraffe, it would have like little things on them. So I'm guessing it's a horse. Just a pink horse. Mm, no brand or anything on it. Uh, it just says great import, so it's probably something from China or. Yeah, it has to be something for China. Uh, throw him up for a 50. Oh, he has a heart in his foot. I missed it. Uh, we got a love bear. Oof, dusty love bear. You gotta take some of these outside and beat them to death and get the dust out of these things. Uh, he's got some hearts on his feet. See right there. Uh, he's got the heart thing. What a, What is he? Walmart? Uh, yeah, Walmart. So... Yeah, good 40 bucks for this guy. I mean, not one of the best ones, but it, it <laughs> wants to fall down on me. <laughs> All right. We got this little frog. Looks like a gun frog. Uh, what is it made? What is his? Where is he from? Uh, I guess it's just generic. Uh, made by mm, Best Made Toys. So, yeah, just a generic brand. He looks like one of the, I think it's Gun that makes a frog that looks like this. And they usually sell pretty well. Anyways, uh, get the sticker off of him. Yeah, probably a good 50 bucks for this guy. He's pretty big. He's at least here. I have my stick right here. Let's see. Uh, about two and a half feet long. This is a yardstick. You see. Yeah, about two and a half feet. Yeah, he's a big old frog. We have this bunny rabbit uh, from MTY International. So another generic brand. It's got big old paws. But yeah, his fur is really nice. So make sure you put, like I said, realistic on him. And it has a little bit of a thread problem right here. But yeah, you can just put this down if I can do it <laughs> in front of the camera. Put this down and pull his fur up and do it like a just a little dab of fabric glue. If I can do it right in front of the camera, and he'll be perfect. So yeah, I always have fabric glue on hand. Uh, it'll help on his pads too. You see right here, where he has like a... Well, I don't think you can see it. There's a lot of glare. But his pads like lifting up. Just put a dab of fabric glue and push it down. But he has to be washed first because he is nasty. Shove him up there and hope he doesn't hit me in the head eventually. <laughs> He's rolling down over there. All right, we have a big old, what is this thing? A uh, gerbil? Hamster? It's got a little tail. I guess in a, I'll just put gerbil and hamster in the title. Hey, he's really cute and fluffy and furry and, and really, what is he from? Uh, another inter, -Amer or this is an inter-American product. So just a generic brand. You can find them at like Rite Aid or uh, CVS and stuff like that. But anyways, uh, since he's a gerbil or a hamster, he's different. I'd probably put him up for 80 bucks. And people will be looking for the different type of animal. Stay. <laughs> Alright, this feels like a classic toy company. But it's not. It's made, it's made from Big Toys. So Big Toys is just uh, one of those uh, company that has the styrofoam. You can hear it. Yeah, it has those like styrofoam uh, pellets, so just like the classic toy company. Usually you find these guys at the fair and stuff. They're not soft, so there's nothing you can really do to smush them to fit them. So you got to weigh these guys accordingly. But, um, but fortunately, this one feels like it'll be under a pound, so might luck out with the uh, shipping on this guy. Get over there. <laughs> Yeah, we have a monster fish. <laughs> he's got some cool plastic eyes. Make sure before you list these guys to check his eyes. This one has a little bit of damage right there. So I'll just get a black marker and fix him up. And just say that the eye is scratched. But yeah, it'll look a lot better when I do the black marker for it. This is another one that is hard to the touch. Like the classic toy company. And this is Big T Toys. So just like the other brand and Classic Toy, they're made of the styrofoam. They're made mostly for um, like theme parks and stuff like that. But he'll still go for about 50 bucks. 
Hopefully someone's looking for a fish for Christmas. We have a big panda bear with some gunk on his eye. Pull that off. Uh, another nasty tag. Uh, this guy is not nothing special. Let's say no, no name brand, nothing. Uh, but I'll still put him up for like fifty bucks. He's got a nice little look to him, and he has this ribbon on his throat. Pretty cool. So, get him up there. What's next? We have a large giraffe. Like a long, large giraffe. He got a heart in his butt. <laughs> uh, what is he from? He is from uh, Best Made Toys. So, yeah, just a generic brand, but he's a large giraffe. Been selling a lot of giraffes lately, so I'll stick him up for like 60 bucks and hopefully I get a hit. Make sure you put Valentine's Day in the listing because he has a Valentine's heart on his rear. Get up there. <laughs> we have a large puppy dog. Let's see. <laughs> this one's pretty heavy. He's got the beans in his paws and everything. This is from Aurora. He's got a little sad puppy dog face. Oh, look at the puppy dog. Don't you want to buy him? <laughs> uh, anyways, um, yeah, probably a good forty, fifty dollars in the little puppy dog. Again, just smash him into a bag, and use pirate ship to ship him, and you should be great. All uh, right, I think I've shown this guy before. This is Curious George. He has some dirt on his hands. I think I used it for one of my beginning of one of my videos. He was just hanging around. I still haven't comped him, but I'm sure he'll go for probably like 100 bucks. Cause look at how big he is. I guess he needs what? Let's put him on the floor. There, <laughs> he still <laughs> tells I am sitting down. So yeah, um, I'm guessing he's about five feet tall. Uh, let's get him up there and hope he doesn't crush me <laughs> before the end of the video. <laughs> uh, next guy, we have a monster, Mr. Potato Head. He's got a sword. He's got some dirt on his arm. I have to wash that for sure. He looks pretty dusty, so I'll have to go beat him outside. Anyways, uh, is it from Disney? Oh, it's actually Mr. Potato Head. It's from the Mr. Potato Head thing. It's not from uh, Toy Store or anything. So I don't know if you can see that. Focus, focus. No. But anyways, yeah. Um, for sure, we'll look this guy up. I have to clean him up and beat him to death like I said to get all the dust off of him and hopefully get 80 bucks on this guy all right what's next uh this is a Disney character it has Disney parks on the end of it I don't remember who this guy is if you have any idea who this guy is I know I should know let me know in the comments um yeah he's has a baseball bat he's a baseball player it says Disney parks on it and this Let's see, Disney Parks. Yeah. And he still has the original tag, too. Oh, well, maybe I can put the number in because it has, like, the UPC on him. Uh, get up there. <laughs> All right, what's next? Uh, we have a smashed minion. <laughs> Come on, minion, puff up. <laughs> uh, who is this guy? Is this Kevin? I always get him confused. All the names of the different minions. But, yeah, he won't sell for much. He'll sell for maybe, like, 29 not much for a big guy but he'll ship first class because he is very 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 light now oh, I've shown you that one of these guys before he's from the uh, Goodwill bins bought him a while back There's a little hole in him now I guess <laughs> been too rough on him or maybe he was fighting another ninja and he got a star <laughs> got cut by a knife or something but yeah I'll fix that up real fast uh, I think he sold, uh, sold one of them, I believe, for 40 So, hopefully I can get that for him, too. And he's gonna come down. No, okay, stay. Alright, we have a flat <laughs> elephant. He's really thin. Uh, what is he from? Uh, this is from Best Made Toys again. So, another Best Made Toys. I don't know if he's meant to be this flat, or was he just squished for a while? <laughs> Um, I'll have to check if he's, um, if I can't poof him back up and he's supposed to be poofed, um, he might have to go back. 
<laughs> but yeah, because he's really, really smashed. Poor guy. Uh, throw him down here. Ooh, we have a cool dinosaur. Almost like Dino. He's not Dino, but he's almost... He has like the Dino like feel of him. Kind of almost the Dino look. Almost. But not yet. But um, he is from Fiesta. So he will be easy to look up. I'm guessing probably like 40 bucks for this guy. Really cool big dinosaur. And dinosaurs always sell well. No, this one isn't that big. I mean, he's about what, two feet tall. And <laughs> not big for what I've been doing today. Anyways, uh, he's from People Pal. So that's... That's cool. Uh, this says, I love you on the back. Oh, hopefully... Um, we can get like 40 bucks for him. Um, it's made from Aurora. He's got the big eyes. Look at those eyes. Look into my eyes. <laughs> Alright, what's next? Oh, monster. Oh, monster, but dirty bunny rabbit. You can see his face is filthy. Uh, nice pads. I mean, the pads are very... Uh, you can feel the quality in the pads. So, what company is he made by? Well, surprisingly, it's made by Walmart. So, yeah. Hope we can get, like, 40 bucks for this bunny rabbit. After, of course, I clean up his face. Uh, stuff like this, I have a specialty brush. See right there? I use it for him, and it really gets out the mats. It has, like, a million little needles in it. But, yeah, I'll work on, like, that. These guys and the lions and all of them with fur that goes boing. Just use one of those brushes. It's a, it's a cat brush, but use one of those. And I have a... I, <laughs> he is a big Dweety bird, but compared to all the other ones I've been bringing out, this guy's tiny. <laughs> and he's almost two feet tall, but yeah. Compared to the other plush, this guy's tiny. Uh, has like a Tweety bird like logo on his hat. Real cool hat, too. Let's see, it's like denim. Real cool shirt and like faux leather shoes. So maybe look for like 35, 40 for a Tweety Bird. Alrighty, oh, hold on. All right. We have a big Bart. There's a little bit of damage on his neck, unfortunately. I don't know if I can fix it. I might have to just disclose it. But hopefully, we can get. He's one of the hard ones too, and I don't like that. It is made by uh, The Simpsons, the. Has the, the real thing on it, if you can see. Has the real tag. Simpsons, 20th Century Fox. Uh, it's from Nanco, so just a generic Nanco one. The Simpsons logo on it. So I guess they licensed it to him. But anyways, um, hopefully I can get 40 bucks if I can get that fixed. Not sure because of the where it is and how thin that, uh, like his fabric is. Alright, we have a big monster Patrick Star. <laughs> He's dressed like a jester. <laughs> uh, looks like he has a repair on his back of his neck. But that's not going to take off much from him. Uh, it's from Nanco and Nickelodeon. So yeah, hoping get, I'm not sure how much this guy will get. I'm hoping around 50. I mean, he is a monster. He's a big guy. Doesn't weigh that much though, but he's a big guy. Alright, we have another cool plush. Uh, if anybody, any South Park fans out there, we got Chef. <laughs> uh, no, I'm not supposed to show your belly, I'm trying to show your shirt. <laughs> uh, uh, not sure what Chef goes through. Oh, but he is dusty. He's been in the corner too long. I'm going to go out there and beat him with a stick and <laughs> get some of the dust out of him. I don't know, maybe Chef will go for 100? I don't know. Depends on how... Because, I mean, the other South Park characters go for very good money. I'm sure an oddity for, like, Chef will go for very good money. But, hey, you never know. Alright, next. We have one of these long legs. Uh, best ever toys. These sell pretty well. At least they used to. I haven't gotten one in a few months but the last one I sold was a smaller version and it sold for like 25 so maybe I can get 40 for this size he's pretty big see he's the size of the computer screen 
All right, get up there. Get up there. Don't fall down. All right, stay. Next one, we have a big Grinch. Perfect time for Christmas. Uh, no, I thought he lit up. No, he's just a generic Grinch. He's one of the hard ones. So styrofoam ball. He needs a little repair on the back of his leg. That's no big deal. That's either glue or my mom will take a needle and thread to him. Feels like he's posable. No, I guess not. Just uh, how hard the, <laughs> the plush is. Anyways, um, especially his face. Look at his face. I'm sure we can get a good 80 for this guy. This one will be a very, very nice sale and probably pretty quick. Because he has an awesome looking face. There's nothing really wrong with him except for that little um, part on his foot. But yeah. Uh, the next one. We have a big old Frosty. I'm not sure if he's missing a hat. Because it kind of looks like there's a little string right here. And a string right here. So he might be missing a hat. Unfortunately. Man, he has cool like snowflakes on his paws or feet. Got mittens. And he's from uh, Trish, Trisha Playful Plush. Yeah, I've sold a bunch of Trisha and they sell pretty well. Uh, they usually sell for like 20 to $25. That's a small one. So maybe I can get 40 if he's not missing the hat. I'm not sure if he's missing a hat or not. But yeah, hopefully get 45 50 Oh, he almost fell on me. <laughs> uh, we got a monster sheep. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's huge. Look at this thing. <laughs> uh, pretty dirty. It's got to be washed. Uh, made by uh, Inter-American Products. So another generic one. But really well made. I don't know if you guys can get the size of these things. Here, let me take this. Uh, this is a... Uh, this is the yardstick, so yeah, you can see uh, he is almost the size of the yardstick. Just a, uh, what about, six inches short, so he's two and a half feet. I pushed the camera back, uh, like I said, just to get the whole the whole animals in the shot, but not sure if that's hurting uh, how big they are, because <laughs> these are big monster toys. Look at this guy. <laughs> he is an awesome monkey. Look at that. Look at his. Look at his gorilla type face. Look at him. <laughs> uh, poke your nose. <laughs> uh, he is made by Kids of America. Uh, not a great brand, but he is an awesome monkey. I'm for sure going to put him up for about 60 bucks for this guy. Let's see if I can keep stacking him here without getting crushed. <laughs> uh, we have a monster, monster bear. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Look how huge he is. I'll put him to the floor. There you go. <laughs> and he is uh, from uh, International Something Toys. So just a generic brand. But he has a cool looking face. He's got a nice, uh, nice soft nose. Great looking paws. You can see right there. Yeah. So... He'll probably go up for like 80 bucks. Uh, I can't put him over there anymore. <laughs> I'm out of space. He's got to go over there. And we got a... Oh, compared to him, it's tiny. He's still about two feet tall. But look at his awesome teeth and tongue and nose and eyes. That's a realistic grizzly bear. Look at that. Look at that. He has his claws. Man, him alone, I'm sure I'll get like 60 bucks for him. He is from... Discovery Channel. Oh, yeah, so he, that's why he has such realistic figures. He's from the Discovery Channel. Yeah, that's a great little bear right there. We have just a generic big old monkey from Hug Fun. So, decent brand. Yeah, I'm sure I'll get 40 bucks for. Hi, how you doing? <laughs> get 40 bucks for a little, well, not little, a uh, big monkey. Alright, we have a moose. He has some uh, mistletoe in his like antlers. He's got the Christmas hat going. Sure can get like 60 bucks for this guy. What is he from? Walmart, really? 
Walmart's making some nice plush lately. Um, usually their stuff is crap, but um, last few times I've gotten some plush from Walmart. They're really high quality. Surprise, they've really uh, picked up their game on plush. Uh, we got the... Oh my god, this one's heavy. This one must weigh like 15 pounds. <laughs> he's gonna break my shoulder. Look at this guy. Uh, he's awesome panda bear. Hopefully he can get like 60 bucks because he's gonna take 20 to ship easily because there's no way of squishing this one. Um, this is from Melissa and Doug. So yeah, they do very good toys. They're usually high quality. Their heads are usually hard though. But this one's not. This one's all soft. Yeah, let me throw them over there. I have a mess over there now. All right, we have a puppy dog, a Thai puppy dog. This is a big Thai puppy dog, kind of like a Saint Bernard. See in his face, you know, I, I believe that's the breed, right? He looks like a Saint Bernard. He doesn't have the little thing that they usually carry here. But yeah, for sure gonna lick him up, but I'm sure we get forty for this guy. He's a big, realistic dog. Uh, another bear. Another monster bear. Actually, I didn't get all the bears because I didn't want to show you just bear after bear after bear. I just uh, saw I have about 10 over there in the corner. This is from the Dream Company. Another large bear. Uh, probably get like 50 bucks from him. He has a heart. So make sure to put Valentine's on the listing. Yeah, let's get the bear over there. What else do we have? Big old elephant. Um, he is from Inter American Products, so another generic one. Probably only like 40 on this guy. He's nothing special. Only well, he does have a little heart. Yeah, if you it'll focus, has a heart on him. So maybe put him up for 50 and then take an offer for 40. We'll see how he goes. We have a jumbo bunny rabbit. He's got a little schmutz on his face. You can see right there, or. It's like, oh, right here, or someone like dropped coffee. Ew. <laughs> someone dropped coffee or something on him. Not as big as the other ones, but still a cool plush. Um, let's see what he's made by. Uh, this is Ford Let International, so I don't know what that is. I'll look this guy up. Hopefully, I can get, since he has a cool face, get him washed up and hopefully get 40 bucks out of him. We'll see. All right, we have another awesome monkey. Look at his feet. <laughs> Look at his face. Look at that little face. <laughs> um, what is he? Uh, eh, just a generic monkey, but he is awesome. Got an awesome looking face. Oh, something's coming off of him. And he's really dusty. <coughs> Get rid of him. He is super dusty. Um, but I'll put him up for like 60 bucks. Uh, this is a hug fun. This is one of the ones that I have like uh, eight, eight or ten of them. Uh, I have like five of these gray ones and then five or four of the brown ones and a couple of white ones. So maybe even more than ten over there. But yeah, I got a lot of these hug fun ones. I don't know if someone had a collection. I'll show you that. Hug fun's a very good brand though. Well, they sell for decent amount. So hopefully just for these bears, I can get 50 bucks each. All right. Well, that's my cat coming across <laughs> the screen. Thanks a lot, cat. <laughs> uh, we have uh, another. This is a Christmas bear from... Uh, looks like Best Made Toys. Again, so probably another good 40 bucks. Oh, it's going to go across the camera again. Get out of here! <laughs> Get out of here! People don't want to see your dear, dirty tail. <laughs> Get out! <sighs> We have a monster, monster sock monkey. He has a little tear right here, so you can see right there. So that'll take a quick stitch. At least it's right on the the line of where the thread goes, so it'll be an easy fix. Uh, this one looks pretty good. They're usually from Dandy, but the tag does not say. Oh, this says CS International, so. It is not a true sock monkey. Anyways, uh, hopefully I can get 40 bucks for this big monster sock monkey and get them all on the screen. <laughs> Alrighty, got a few more here. We have a bear. Oh, 
this bear got me <laughs> got some dust on her. Bear in a dress. I don't know if this comes with her. It's the. Uh, I don't know if this bear has the dress or not. I'll for sure have to look him up. But it has like underwear, and there's like a ballerina dress. Got something on him. So, uh, I don't know. Forty, fifty bucks. I don't know if I'll sell the dress separately. If the dress doesn't go to her, I'll probably sell that for like fifteen bucks, depending on what it goes to. All right, we have Bugs Bunny. Monster Bugs Bunny. <laughs> Get your ears up. They're posable, so I can do whatever I want to them. Yeah. Oof. Man. He is fighting with me. <laughs> he is a monster Bugs Bunny. I think he has his tag somewhere. Yeah, there it is. Uh, Looney Tunes. Baby Looney Tunes. Oh, from Six Flags Magic Mountain. So it's one of the prizes you get from Six Flags for... Doing something stupid. <laughs> but yeah, I'll for sure throw him up for probably close to 100. Especially since he has that tag. Clean him up. He's going to be a pain to ship because he's one of the hard ones. So you can't squish him into a bag. Yeah, let's see. We have a few more to go. First up is we have another monkey from... Oh, this is one of the ones from Circus Circus. I just sold a... Like three of these from Circus Circus. People seem to be liking them. Um, they were very small. They were like, I sold them for I believe like $25. So hopefully you can get a good 40 for this guy. I have to fix his nose. His like, nose is like coming apart. <laughs> yeah, hopefully I can get 40 for that guy. We have a big monster Angry Bird. Angry Bird Girl. It has a couple holes I feel in the bottom. There. But it's made by Rovio or Commonwealth. Um, they usually sell pretty good. Especially the different colored Angry Birds. Uh, hopefully I can get 40 bucks out of her. We'll see. Uh, for sure going to look up the comps on this one. Uh, after I repair the bottom. Uh, we have a Monster Smurfette with a Goodwill tag that I'll take off. Monster Smurfette. <laughs> her nose is all messed up. Ugh. See who she made by. Oh, it just says the Smurfs. Uh, official licensed Smurfs. This may not be sold at retail. So, yeah, I'll look. I'll for sure look this one up. Hopefully, I can get sixty bucks for her. Again, she's gonna be a pain to ship because she does not squish very well. Oh, well, I guess that's okay. That'll fit in a, one of the bigger bags. All right. What else do we have? Oh, we have an awesome. Look at this. Look at the lines on this guy. This guy is super sweet. He's got like realistic, nice colors. Who is it by? Oh, imported by Costco. Oh, yeah. So Costco um, always does great toys. When you get something from Costco, it's worth the quality because if it gets like damaged or anything else, Costco will refund you. They have a great return policy at Costco. Um, hopefully get a hundred for this guy. Look at his eyes. Look into my eyes. <laughs> yeah, that guy is super sweet. This is a monster. <laughs> Let me try to put him on the ground. See, as you can see how tall he is compared to my chair. There, there you go. <laughs> That's how tall this monster is. Uh, this is made by, ugh. Uh, Animal Adventure, so... Very good brand, but he's a generic bear, so I'll be lucky to get like 70, 80 for him. Yeah, he's a monster. Uh, I'll look at the comps. Hopefully, I can get more, but I'm sure probably 70 will be the max. Yeah, even for this monster of a bear, because he's he's just a bear. I don't know what I dropped over there. <laughs> and we have this one. This looks like the last guy. Has a little bow. Has look at these ears. It got some nice like uh, quality fabric in the ears. So this is made by Dandy. So it's a good quality bear. Put them up for like sixty bucks. Take fifty if I uh, take a best offer. Anyways, that's all I have for you. Hopefully you enjoy the the big episode. <laughs> Please give the video a thumbs up. 
subscribe if you're new, and don't fiddle fart around. Get all your listings up. I have plenty to get up right now. <laughs> Take care. See you next video. Bye.